And that's the smoothie done. Health in a glass. This one actually tastes very pineapple coconut-like. I love it. Like a pina colada. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm trying to do this workout challenge and I'm currently on day three. I'm gonna show you a bit of what I do in my workout and then um, hopefully I can eat soon. Go. Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us That was hard, but I've only done one of four, so let's keep going. I've officially finished my workout, and I'm like so dead. I didn't show you my whole workout because it was too long. Don't think you wanted to see that. If you do want to see it, I will be doing a video with more working out. So we'll stay tuned for that one. And I'm gonna go shower now because I'm just so dead. Hi guys. So I am just out of the shower as you can see. And I thought I would do a day one of my new cleansing routine, especially for Huda's Wishful Year Glow Enzyme Scrub. So I decided to show you my skin now. My skin is very uneven at the moment and it's also been very dry. So I thought I'd show you my skin before I start using it and then I'll show you my skin at intervals to see if there's any difference at all. Also, I really love this packaging. Mm. Look at this really pretty bottle. So if you want to see my whole skincare routine, watch my skincare video after this video, of course. My skin is clean, my skin is dry, so let's put on this Yoglo. What does it smell like? It smells like a bit like um, like a tonic or something. Oh, wow. Sorry that sounded so enthusiastic, but I'm really liking the feeling of this. Mini sand particles. It's not rough, but you can definitely feel that there's exfoliation going on. I don't know if I love the smell. I definitely don't hate it. I don't know what all this flaking business is. I don't know if that's my skin or if it's the stuff. Cause like, you know, if you go to a hammam, this is what like comes off your body. Like all these like flaky bits when they scrub off your dead skin. But I actually really like that smell. It smells very fresh. Okay. Day one, it feels super soft. My skin, this is where I have the most issues with and it doesn't feel bumpy like usual. Here as well, I struggle a lot. Oh wow. Okay, you know, this has really helped me. I really like the outcome of that. But I'll let you know after a few weeks. And I'll see you later. So I just did my workout and showered and what am I doing now? Eating pancakes, that's right. Um, I felt so faint after my workout, so yeah. This is the only answer. So Adam's and I's lunch for today are pancakes. 
some fresh whipped cream, lemon, sugar, speculoos paste, and jam and Nutella. I'm just back from the supermarket and I literally like bought the nicest like selection of veg. It smells so good and the whole walk back home I could smell my basil out of my shopping bag. I bought some fresh mint. Here I'm just going to give you a view of my fresh veg. So check out those beautiful colors and all that fresh smelling stuff. So I don't know if you can guess what I'm going to make, I don't think so because I could make a lot with this but there actually are a couple of different meals I'm going to make with this so to start off today we're going to be using the aubergines and the basil so I hope you're going to enjoy my cooking with me. So I'm going to make one Italian style um, main course. So I've got my parmesan, mozzarella, tin tomatoes, aubergine and basil. So I've thrown in the onion, garlic, loads of olive oil, and some dried oregano. Um, I decided to like grill the aubergine lightly before using it in my dish. Uh, however, you can fry it in the pan, or you can use a girdle pan or whatever it's called, but I didn't have one. And then I realized we had this like grilling thing, which for some reason we have had like in the box like forever and like nobody's planning on using it so I decided to whip it out and it's actually great like my aubergine's like amazing it smells good my tomato sauce is doing amazing it smells good and I can't wait to try this out so here are my perfectly grilled aubergines they're grilling away and it's so amazing it like goes on to my induction so how perfect and it's really thin and not um, invasive of my kitchen space and then here's my tomato sauce simmering away. It smells absolutely divine. Okay, let's try this tomato sauce. It's so good. I'm very happy with it. Well, I already mixed for like 10 minutes. <laughs> no, 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 you're not supposed to do that. Uh, will it make a huge difference? Yeah. So I decided to make mint meatballs. I don't know how minty they will be, but there is mint in them that I freshly chopped, kind of like a Mediterranean style, and give them a bit of flavor. So I'm really looking forward to them. So I haven't given you my full recipes, but you can go follow me on Insta and check out my IGTVs where I give a quick detailed description and little demonstration of how I make everything. So I've taken my mints and rolled them into bowls. They're quite big, but I thought since we're having them for dinner with my um, Parmesan, they're nice to have some big ones. And I like to fry them a bit first before putting them in the oven, which is this tray that I've buttered as well with some tin foil um, so that you finish cooking them on the inside but have a crispier outer layer. It's safe to say my meatballs smell hella good. Do you hear that? That's right, that's my meatballs sizzling. They smell so good. I think the mint definitely adds something to it. Now whether we can taste it or not, I don't know yet, but it does smell good and it's just so yummy. So I have two trays here, waiting for my second one. 